Assalamu alaikum. In the physics as well in different branches of science, we come across the term directly proportional and inversely proportional. What do these things mean? We are going to learn about the, these things in this video. To do so, I have taken two expressions. If you look at them, you will find that in these two expressions, the left hand side is C. And the symbol beside this term X is also C. But they are read in a different way. Here, it is read as directly proportional. Whereas, in this expression, it is read as inversely proportional. Why is it so? Let's find out. Here, this expression is read as x is directly proportional to y. When we say x is directly proportional to y, it means uh, with increase in the value of y, the x value will increase. So, let's write this on board. Let's say y value increases. Along with it, the x value will also increase because they are proportional to each other. So let me explain this to you with the help of a simple numerical example. Now before going ahead, I am going to convert this expression into an equation. Now look at here carefully how this kind of expression in which proportionality is there can be converted into an equation. To do so, we have to remove this uh, proportionality. This proportionality can be removed by including a constant. We include a constant here. To do so, we put equal to sign beside it. Now, this expression has turned into an equation. We know an expression in which there is an equal to sign and uh, both the side of which if a uh, certain term is present means we call it as an equation. Now to make my work more easy I replace this constant actually this constant is called as proportionality constant. I replace this proportionality constant with a symbol let it be k. I think that's k. Now, this is a, an equation. I box this for convenience. Okay. Now, I'm going to take the value of y to be equal to 2. Then I'll substitute that one here. When I do so, the value of x will be equal to the product of k with the 2. That means x equals to 2k. Okay. Now I am going to increase the value of y. I take it as 4. When I take the value of y equals to 4, x value is going to increase. See, x will become equal to 4 times of k, where k is a proportionality constant. So it can be written as x equals to 4k. Now, this clearly shows that when we have increased the value of y, the value of x has increased. Earlier it was 2k. When the value of y has increased to 4, the value of x has also increased. So, we can conclude that x is directly proportional to y. Now, let's come to this side. Here, this expression is read as x is inversely proportional to y. Why is it so? Let me tell you. 
here when the value of y is increased here y is is present in the denominator when we increase the value of y x value decreases because x is inversely proportional to y okay now to make it more easier to understand i convert this expression into an equation by following the same method that i have followed earlier so what i do i remove this proportionality by including a constant along with equal to sign i told you this constant is nothing but a proportionality constant for convenience this can be replaced with a symbol what is that symbol again i'm going to use the similar symbol that is k k multiplied with 1 upon y so this can be written as x equal to k upon y i box this this is the, the final equation we have obtained okay now to make it uh, more understandable i use a few numerical example i'll take the same numerical example that i have used here i take the value of y as 2 that i substitute in this equation so what i'll get if i do so what will be the value of x x will be equal to k upon 2 in the place of y i have written 2 okay so i'll make it a more simple this can be written as x equals to half multiplied with k or k by 2 can be this way we know 1 upon 2 is nothing but 0 0.5 so here x becomes equal to 0.5 k now i box this for convenience and clarity okay. clear now when the y is taken to be equal to 2 the value of x is obtained equal to 0.5 k now i'm going to increase the value of y let's find out what happened if i do so what can i take y equal to 4 i'm doing so the value of x becomes equal to k upon 4 this can be written as x equals to 1 upon 4 multiplied with k here 1 upon 4 is nothing but 0.25 so x is equal to 0.25 k now I box this final expression for better visibility. Now, if you compare with these two equations, the values of x, you will find that with increase in the value of y, the value of x has reduced. So here, when we increase the value of y, the value of x decreases. So this clearly explains inversely proportional inversely proportional. Whereas in the first case, when we increase the value of y, the value of x also increases. This explains direct proportion. I hope the concept is clear to you. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, kindly put your question in the comment section. Thanks for watching.